So now we want to create a one first deployment YAML pipelines. Okay, how we can create the deployment job and through the deployment job, how we can create a first YAML deployment pipeline and how the environments are created automatically that we will see. So you can go to the environment sections. Now there is no environment for the test. I want to create one test environment automatically. So for that, I'm going to the pipeline section. Under the pipelines, I want to create a new pipeline. So you can select the new pipeline and you can select your repository. So as of now, I'm going to select the Azure repos and BDD repo and starter pipeline. Okay, and now first starter pipeline. So I'm going to remove everything from here and then we will create from the scratch. So you can remove the trigger options like that. So you can put the none. Now you have the pull is there, open to latest. Now I'm going to create the stages for that. So for that, you come to the pull sections and you type the S, it will give you the suggestions, then you can select the stages. Under that, I have the one stage that is called the deploy stage okay under the deployment stage i need to define some jobs okay so for that i am going to select the jobs if this is not giving the suggestions you can move the cursor forward and backward then it will give you the suggestion now i'm going to select the one job so this is the deploy job okay and we know the deployment job start with the deployment keyword yeah so for that i'm going to type the hyphen d so you can see the deployment option is there so you can select the deployment and you type the deployment test okay test deployment and under the deployment i need the environment i need to define one environment so environment name is the test this will create the environment then i need to define some strategy so type the x and it will select the strategy come down and then there's there are three types of the strategy in the azure pipelines so i'm going to select the first one so you can see that these are the three strategies i have canary rolling and the run ones so i'm going to select the run ones now under the run ones i want to select the other options so what are the parameters so we have the deploy parameter the deploy cycle i need to define some steps so it will give me the steps options and under the steps first i want to check out the code i want to check out the code and i want to check out self okay under the checkout, I want to perform some script. So the script is the part of the steps, not the checkout. That's why it's not was not showing. Now I'm going to select the script. Now echo, and you can see this is my first D E P deployment and shop demo okay so now we have the trigger is none pull information is there stages under the stages we have the one deployment then we have the jobs and we have the one our deployment is there <coughs> now i'm going to save and run to check the deployment job is working or not 
so the job test is in the queue position it's going to start so first it will check out the code on the command line echo this is my first deployment job so you can see the output is getting printed okay so the deployment job runs successfully now i want to check the status for that so you can see under the summary section it was triggered by the author and its status is success okay now you will see the environment step so which environment the deployment happen in this test environment so you can click on the test environment deployment happen on the test environment okay and if you come to this environment sections you can see the test environment is automatically created and under the test environment this azure pipelines this build number 7 is deployed so the deployment happen here yeah so the jobs name is the test changes any changes is there it will show all the changes over there now this deployment the build number one on today's date so this is the build number it's generated here if you want to check go and edit the pipeline can see this is your build pipeline so like that your first deployment job is successfully running